What's going on, Maniacs? Here we are back again for another Maniacs React. And look at this. We got some new faces in the studio today. Yeah. Over to my right, in the in the what? The red corner. <laughs> we have Duke. That's a redneck corner. That's a yeah, redneck right corner. <laughs> <laughs> and right here in the uh, other corner, we got Gabe. Gabe, what do you got to say for yourself? Cool. All right, let's go. <laughs> We're going to keep this thing going. Then. <laughs> so, hey, uh, Duke, thanks, man, for hopping in and stepping in for Jim tonight. Cool, yeah. yeah. I, so, I, I, thank you guys for having me here. I appreciate it. It means a lot. So, yeah, I man. watch you guys on the YouTubes, you know, and, and the Insta. It's, it's crazy, you know, like you meet people in, in life, and just, these guys are awesome, guys. Uh, <laughs> I know a lot of you guys, you know, people always wonder what people are like in real life, but these guys are genuine, they're cool. The content's great, so awesome. thank you guys for having me. Thanks, thanks, man. We'll Appreciate pay. That. We'll pay you for that later. <laughs> That's right. So, <laughs> so it's actually a really cool, short little story. So the way we actually connected with Duke is, we've been posting on Instagram on our on our Maniacs page and saw this crazy rat rod, and I was like, wait a minute, this thing looks like it's in Arizona, and I was like, I reached out to him, I'm like, dude, are you in Phoenix? And he's like, no, <laughs> man, I'm down in Tucson, and I was like, yeah. no way. <laughs> So that's how we connected, and then he drove it over to the shop one Saturday. Let us drool and, over, and we hung over. out, man. Ryan got a ride. Ryan, how was it? It was awesome, man. Thing is pulls hard. Yeah, oh, so fun. it's a 1930 Model A two door yeah. coupe. Yes, two door uh, sedan. Two door sedan. Yes. Uh, and there it is. I, I offered her a promise. It's completely stock. Uh, it's totally street legal. Uh, you know, I, no, no, it's not stock. Uh, I built the whole car in my two car garage myself. Uh, it's a 1930 uh, Model A two door sedan. Uh, it's got a compound turbo 12 valve Cummins. It's got uh, it's got a got a couple uh, Wu Tang War whistles on it, you know, and uh, <laughs> she scoots. You know, it rides good. It drives good. Uh, it took me three years to build, but I did it all myself in my garage, and it's. I built, I, I tell people I built my redneck Ferrari. You know, a lot of people yeah. like to have a Ferrari or Lambo. Me, that's what I would And like you even got the emblem on there. That's right. Got that's the Ferrari right. emblem on there. No that's joke. Right. So, yeah, so we actually. Too many Ferraris or Lambos rolling coal either. <laughs> no, right. there, there is at least one that I know of. There There's is. got a diesel uh, there is. swap in it. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, we did a Maniacs React on this a couple weeks ago, so it was pretty cool. It was pretty fun to do it. And so, hey, welcome. Cool. So it's Thank awesome. You. We're looking forward to rolling this thing so this is our maniacs react segment where we sit down and we pull a couple of cars from our instagram posts that we've done that we want to highlight and we kind of critique them we kind of have some fun with them and then we throw in a third car that's kind of the bonus card that's usually a little more controversial so we're gonna have a fun one for you today duke you're gonna right. you're gonna have fun with this one Man, yeah we'll shoot from the hip see what we got <laughs> so that's what we got so ryan what do you have yeah. for the first car today this first car is pretty interesting um it is not like anything I've seen in the United States before. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. There's a little hint. Here. All right. So just so you know, the viewers can't see this yet. So right now we're just teasing them with something coming up. So yeah, he's okay. going to let it rip in a minute here. Yeah. So, so we, we usually give a couple hints as to what it is. So again, not so much a U.S. car. And uh, I am a wagon guy. And this is a wagon. So it's definitely right up my alley. But uh, So dude. It's a mini wagon. It is a mini wagon. I mean, not a mini check that mini wagon, but it's a small wagon. So there it is, guys. There it is. Check it out. It's uh, got some st two step action going in that one shot. So that's pretty cool. So, so you guys, I mean, what do you think this is? Huh? So I know a little bit more about this car. Is that a two JZ engine? No. No. Okay. No. No. All right, I'll give you guys a hint. So the power plant is a Mazda. Oh, I was way off. So this is a <laughs> Miata sitting underneath the disguise of that patina body. Oh, that's some perfect sizing then. That's a Mazda Miata under it. So it's a full body swap. Well, it's the best looking Miata I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think you're on the phone. You're on the phone. All right. So this guy's out of England. Um, and this is a Miata. And they put this body on it. I'm not sure what year it is, but it's a European like Ford Squire wagon or something like that. And of course, he hand rolled those fenders. Okay. So the wide body, he's had a couple of different transitions cool. of, of getting it to where it is right, right there. I don't know if this is the most current 
uh, shot of it, you know, video of this car. It's gone through a couple of changes, but um, it's a pretty sweet ride. Yeah, some good patina going. Some crazy new new modern headlights. And you know what? I think I'm going to backpedal that England thing because I'm thinking this guy's actually out of California now. Quite, quite a bit of dif difference. <laughs> <laughs> but I chatted, I chatted with this guy. It's just been a while now. Um, no, I think he's actually out of here. So um, never mind that. We'll pull that one back. But uh, nevertheless, really wild, really wild. So check it out, man. It's got a full cage. I, was a, I, was a, I don't know if the back seat's even still in it anymore. It looks like it might just be front seats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's Yeah, well, since it was a Miata, there's... Probably no, no no back seats anyway there. Good, good point. Good <laughs> point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took out the back seats. That's called the trunk. Hey, you know what? Even yeah. Gabe knew that. <laughs> Gabe, why don't you help your dad out? It's a Miata, Dad. Two seats. Two seats. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a I'm a big feller. Uh, I mean, I like stuff with patina. You know, I mean, that's just it's definitely the the coolest Miata I've ever seen. I'm not a you know you you roll down the road you see a Miata you're like uh, I would never drive that. I I. I would find a way to squeeze my. I'm I'm a very large guy, and I would find a way You're to a squeeze myself. You're a plus size model. Oh yes, that's absolutely right. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a F350 dually, you know. And, uh, I, would, I would I would try to find a way to fit my big Heidi in there to give her a try, you know. Man, um, I, I think so. That's opposite of Gabe. I think he'd squeeze through one of those windows. <laughs> Yeah, so man, I think my favorite part is I, I like the fender work. I really do. I mean, I mean, everything is cool about it, right? I love the patina. It looks like it's an original patina mm -hmm. that he started with, you know, at least. And uh, but I like the, he did a really good job on those fenders. I mean, yeah, uh, better job, better it. job than I did on the forty nine fenders. How about that? <laughs> the stands on it's awesome, and it, yeah. when he hits the two step, you get the flames in the front and the back, you know. And isn't that cool? Yeah. So I'm assuming yeah. the exhaust pipe comes all the way out the back, but the yeah. wastegate the you know, dumps at the front, front there, yeah. so you get that mm -hmm. offset, you know. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So I, he must be working on it here, and the radiator's out. It doesn't have an intercooler on the top like that, does he? I didn't see it. No, another. That's, that's a Bluetooth. <laughs> yeah, it's got the cap on. That was the seam. That was the shaft. Yeah, there you go, right SEMA. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, you get those yeah, at that's, Best Buy. <laughs> I've seen Bluetooth drive shafts, but I haven't seen the Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth intercooler but, yeah, or, or Bluetooth intercoolers. Intercooler. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure they exist. So yeah. So Gabe, do you have a favorite part of this car? I like the headlights. The headlights. Yeah, yeah it's Those got some pretty cool. And the turbo. Yeah. The the orange anodized turbo or gold anodized. That yeah. Is pretty and bad. then the one on the top of the engine. The crossbar. The the yeah the stiffener. Support. Yeah. That is yeah. pretty cool on there. Probably needs it after pulling the, the original body and front core off of there, core support. But. Yeah. Yeah, so one of the things that I didn't tell you, Duke, or you, Gabe, you, you've seen the dough enough, Gabe, but we rate these cars, and we have a rating system. It's right. a basically one to three, but the way it works <laughs> is one is if you kind of just don't, if you just completely dislike it, it's a cranker. Yeah. Right? So crank right. won't go anywhere, right? Right. If you kind of like it, kind of, you know, works for you, then that's a, a cruiser. So, you, you know, the tack is kind of yeah, up there, kind of cruising. Okay. And if it's really sweet, then it's a uh, on the limiter. Right. Right? So that's the that's the three-tier system. But so we're going to give you the opportunity, being that you're the guest, to oh, go first. Man. And then you were going to say... But if, but, if you, but if you give it an on the limiter, you've got to make the limiter sound. Yeah. And we want to hear your limiter sound, yeah. what it sounds like. Because <laughs> we're all going to do Great it. Great, Jeremiah Bostad. I don't even know. You know, uh, this, I mean, like I said, I'd have to, you know, spray down with cooking spray to fit through the door. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, we're like... Shut, 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 shut on this one for there sure. Oh, that's pretty know, good. I like we're, that. We're on, we're on the limiter on this one. I, I, I couldn't fit in it. But there it was. The limiter was going right there. It's, it's, a, it's, a sweet, it's a sweet rig. I mean, like I said, it's the, the coolest Miata I've ever seen. So, I, I, you know what I mean? Like, how do you, yeah. how does a guy make a Miata look cool? Well, I, exhibit A. <laughs> you got to you know? body swap it. You know, so I, I got it's got to be on the limiter for me on this one for sure. Yeah, uh, that's pretty cool, man. Well, yeah. who's going to go next? I'm up on the limiter as well. Yeah, bop, 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 bop. All right, all that's right. Cool. All right, cool. Gabe, what's the, your rating? On the limiter. Okay. 
That's better than what Jim did the other day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm on the limiter. All right, let's go, guys. This car is awesome. Let's just mention it, though. It's uh, Turbo Rich 831. That's his Instagram handle, Turbo Rich 831. He's built several other cars since this one, and you guys can check it out on that Instagram page. It's super, super cool. Cool. So before we go to the next car, yeah, we need to. We need to. Somebody's got to sponsor this video. We can't just do these for free. Oh, we do do these for free. <laughs> oh wait a minute. <laughs> what? Nah, we gotta. We, pay, we gotta. We gotta pay the bills. Let's go. So we are gonna have uh, Boxo Tools sponsor this video today. Yeah. BoxoUSA.com is where you find them, and they have everything from rolling toolboxes. Uh, full of tools, all the way down to hand carry boxes, moto boxes, and down to my favorite, uh, the tool roll. Yeah. Because the tool roll can just be in the back of your truck or in the back of wherever. The I razor. Think you, I think you need one. I, for I your agree. Car. And I'm going to tell you guys, like, from a guy, coming from a guy that watches YouTube, right? You always wonder about these guys. Like, oh, it's sponsored by this or that. I was in their shop and they use the stuff. Yes, right? Oh, yeah. And I've never seen a box of set up until I was at your guys' shop, and it is pretty nice. It's on the limiter. It's on, on the limiter. limiter. Box is on it's the a, limiter. It, it's, yeah. it's a sweet. It's a sweet setup. It's, it's so that's cool. right. So Robert, it. we need a tool roll for Duke. It's gonna be displayed <laughs> quite well. I'll make the phone call for you. It's gonna be awesome. So boxoUSA.com, you guys check them out, or Boxo Direct on Instagram. Cool stuff, All right, man. Cool stuff. We got we got another car coming up, John. You can, why don't you preview this car? For All us? right. Well, what it's we actually a truck. Oh. We met this guy up in Phoenix at a fuel fest a couple years ago. Uh, we were out there. We had the forty nine out. It was a it was a blast. And uh, this guy, man, had this super ratty truck. So I think it's a forty eight or nine. Chevy. Let's 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 show everybody what this thing is. It was like the rustiest, just craziest <laughs> rat rod truck I think I've seen in a while. I think so least. too. He just had all kinds of different stuff tacked all over there. You saw some of the stuff that was tacked onto the, the fender, some pennies glued to the <laughs> cowl. <laughs> it was pretty eclectic, man. It was, it was eclectic. You know what I mean? Like you got a lot of stuff going on in your rat rod, but yeah. it all like ties in, and there's like right. some real depth, you know. I think on this one, man, he just really, really went loose. He just he had went, fun. He just like he went for clutter, let his hair down, and he was like, <laughs> "Let's put cool. everything on this." <laughs> I think he had like fur. It was just yeah. license plate was you know like rear wing made out of license plates, a wood uh, treasure chest or something in the bed, if I remember right. So those those zoomies or whatever they are, or those pipes sticking out, he hand drilled those <laughs> every hole. <laughs> Oh, just kind of hand drill them, and he said it actually quieted it down, which is crazy, right? Works like a silencer, <laughs> naturally. So those are actually eBay turbos, and uh, probably a testament to the eBay turbos is that he was having problems with them. <laughs> 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 he said he had to get that thing towed over to the show or towed away from back from the show or uh, something. It didn't qu couldn't quite make it all the way back to wherever his house was. Thirty you know? pounds of boost on the junkyard five three block. Like, it's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. No, it's no it'll, it'll, it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. I think I think the coolest thing about this thing is just the way that the turbos, you know, just mm -hmm. give it that that nasty look from the front. You know, it's like these nostrils, real yeah. wide nostrils. You know. Yeah, and he, he this guy really does love rust. He loves ratty stuff because mm -hmm. he bought a Jeep uh, that was in like looked really nice, a, a newer Wrangler, and he literally stripped the paint off it and rusted it, so it, it looks all. <laughs> That's old cool. Ratty. That's cool. Yeah, he he likes his uh. He likes his rusty stuff. Yeah, it looks like, uh, I mean, I mean, you're looking at it, you look at it sitting there, and it kind of looks like, reminds me of, of like some sleeked out Tomater on steroids. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it looks like it, like Tomater's cousin that's like hiding in the <laughs> alley. Queen, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, at least he wears the right safety footwear. Yeah. You know, he's got yeah. the Walmart Crocs, <laughs> right? Hey, hey I, I feel a guy. I, just, I wear those in the garage when I weld too. It's did they make it's did they make, Do they make steel toe yet? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it feels real good when that you know hot weld goes right, yeah, right through, through in between your toes and those. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you'll be yeah, you'll be out of those real quick. So and that's the nice thing you can get out of them. when you're welding tennis shoes. You're stuck trying to get it off while it burns your foot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's true. You can just kick it right off. Huh? Yeah. yeah. 
So is that his intercooler in the front there sticking That's forward? Cool. Or is that the radiator? It looks like the radiator. It, I'm pretty sure that the slanted one's the definitely intercooler. the intercooler. I think that's the intercooler, yeah. yeah. Slanted one's see definitely the intercooler because it goes straight to the edge. Yeah. I'm wondering Dude, what, I like the big farm they, truck like, So you guys saw this truck in person. What, <laughs> yeah. do you, what do you do on the paint on the doors there? I don't know. Is it just like a... Like a tss, tss. I think it's brush and yeah, it roller. Yeah, brush. I think it was a combination. I think it's a multi... Um, a multimedia <laughs> type <laughs> artist, so brush, roller, yeah. spray, spray can. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was all kind of whole bunch of applicable there. Yeah. yeah, the inside I know had a bunch of a uh, bunch of license plates and stuff doing mm. different things inside. And... Just Were you there with us? Hmm? Were you there with us at that event? Fuel fest? No, no. Okay. no he didn't get to see Vin Diesel on that trip. Nah, all right. Well, it was a pretty cool trip. Yeah. Pretty, yeah, pretty fun. Looks like he's got the bubble gum holding on the fender, so that's how you know it's good. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, it's it's cool, cool rig. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Is it time? I think it's time. All right, we're gonna go from uh, left to right in this time. Oh, I'm first. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm a cruiser on this one. I, I do dig it. It is really ratty. It's pretty cool, but it's not something that uh, just is all out out there for me. So I'm yeah. gonna. Yeah, just, just cruise it. Yeah, I can I can see that. I can see that. I'm gonna skip Gabe and go back to him after me, because <laughs> I'm gonna be a cruiser too. To be honest with you, Ooh. I like it. I like it. I think it's cool, you know. But uh, there's, you know, in order to hit the limiter, you know, there's got to be there's got to be more. There's got to be a little more cohesiveness, a little more execution, you know. Obviously. Uh, but it's fun. It's fun. It it's definitely a fun, fun thing. I think it's Absolutely. just cool that you can do it for low buck, relatively speaking, mm -hmm. and just have a good time. You know, I mean, he's out there, you know, playing with it. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Gabe? Cruiser. All right. It's cruiser. Cruiser it is there. What's the final word? Moses. Sandals. I don't even know where to go. I mean, it's a rat rod, and it's near and dear. Hey, I, I am, I am a rat rod guy through and through. I mean, because you can just, you can sit there and use anything and everything. I think this guy did. And yeah, obviously, yeah. Um, I, man, it's such a hard, hard choice for me. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go like right before the limiter, but a hardcore cruiser, you know. It's it's definitely I'd, I'd say I'm a cruiser on this one. Um, that's where that's where I'm at. But beautiful build, man. I mean, just super cool. All the different because you're never gonna people are gonna keep looking at everything on there. It's right. Just, yeah, it's never ending on that truck, dude. I, I was sure. I think I was looking at it for about two hours. Just every time you look at something. Is that where like, you were? Oh, you every time I was looking for you, you needed you at the car. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. You needed to be around the 49, you know, so people weren't getting in and out of it, you know. I'm, I'm getting too old. It was parked right in front of the speaker, and it was a little too loud. Oh man, was a were you inside the whooper? Yeah, yeah just about. Yeah. Like, why did we you right park me front. in the whooper? You know, it was right in front. Oh, it was loud. He is getting kind of old. Though. It was fun. <laughs> Says the oldest one. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's move on, you guys. I think that was pretty cool. That's cool. I, I I do like it though. I do like it. Yeah. So we got a bonus. We do have as, a bonus. As always, we have a bonus vehicle. Cool. Yeah. And we're just gonna let we're you know what? We're gonna show that we're gonna show the preview to Duke and we're gonna let him intro oh, a couple of things. Oh. Well, I, I wanna start the intro though. So oh you do? Okay. It, it, kind of, kind okay. of. Right. I, just the background of the intro. So okay. for the last three episodes now we've been doing a theme. We we've been exploring different car cultures, right? Uh, we did some stance, we did the Carolina squat. Uh, That's right. We cover it. And, uh, I'm glad I wasn't here. For that. <laughs> and then we did some. Well, don't worry. This is gonna be a good one for you. <laughs> then we did some Boso Zoku. Oh yeah, the, the Japanese, Japanese crazy, crazy looking body rides. kid stuff. That was some pretty neat stuff. So tonight's is another culture. Yep. Um, it, it is a, a truly exemplary of the whole culture, but I found a really cool clip of this rad truck that that kind of shows off some of that culture. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And this truck is hopping. <laughs> is that a metaphor? Is that a metaphor or is that 
Literal. You said you were going to let him intro it, but oh, I think we already ruined it. <laughs> we're, we're getting the guns right, already. Just drop it. Let's just drop it. Drop it. Boom. There it is. Duke. Uh, that's like... That's like me the morning after Taco Bell running to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. uh, are you kidding me right now? Hey, you know, I, hurry, 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 I'll hurry. say this, right? Like, yeah, I get there, get there, get there, get there. Um, I, I, here's what, uh, <laughs> so, you know, I just, so, can, can you even drive it? Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, it's you don't want to hit any speed bumps. Uh, I mean, everybody says that about my car too. You know, you yeah, can you drive it? Right here, you know? Yours drive. Yours actually drives good. Yeah, I, I. So here's here's my. So the. Uh, are you lost for words? Uh, they're not low riders, right? They have a what do they call these? The uh, hop hoppers. The hoppers or yeah. the. Uh, they have another. Term but they're part of the low rider crowd. Right, low yeah, rider yeah. crowd. And I, I'm gonna say this, right? I'm a redneck through and through, right? Hundred percent. I have my thing I'm into, but when I go to a car show, and you guys like this is probably surprising to a lot of people. When I go to a car show, there's 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 two types of cars I like to look at. One is rat rods, right? Because there's always everyone is different, right? Everyone has their own. Yeah. There's different things here, different things there. The other one is low riders. Yeah, hundred percent. Because I'm gonna give these guys so much credit because. There is no other car that you go out there and look, and these guys have more time in their metal etching, in their paint mm-hmm. jobs, and it, it like mad respect, Chrome. like not my style. Oh my, oh my goodness, like yeah. not my style at all, right? And like I said, just dance into the bathroom. I it's it's not <laughs> not my style, right? <laughs> but, but like it, it is it like a mad amount of respect for these guys that have some just crazy money and time into some paint jobs, some interiors. Right. And so it, it is a it is a, a thing, and I think that's important, like in the car culture, is to be able to respect the amount of work that goes into a rig. You know what I mean? Right. Oh, absolutely. So, I mean that's one thing that we for sure, you know, credit pretty much every one of these guys out there, even the Carolina Squat, you know, setup. Yeah. I mean, it's just uh, Ryan had a hard time with that one altogether. But you know, <laughs> I, I Carolina's I, a bad I, name, man. So <laughs> I kind of hit a kind of hit a nerve over there. I can't there. Do I don't it. Know. Hit a nerve. I was thankful but, I wasn't there for that one. So, so here, so I grew up in Southern California. So I was, I was immersed in pretty much all of these things, right? Like every one of these, you know, maybe, maybe not in the Carol, in the Carolina squat came about way later, right? right, right, right. But lowriders, obviously, you know, oh, everywhere. Right. I mean, we were cruising, you know, multiple times a week. You know, we were out there cruising around, and we, you know, this was around all the time. And so I have the same kind of appreciation for different guys out there that do different things, you know. And I think lowriders go really crazy above and beyond, dude. I mean, when right. Chrome was Chrome, like everything was Chrome, oh, yeah. you know, on these things. Yeah. The paint jobs were insane. Well, the some of them like gold inside. Lace paint jobs, all the crazy yeah. stuff, just super wild. And the etching that you're talking about, man, yeah, it seemed like insane. the wildest stuff that, you know, it's I mean, insane. I can't even imagine how long it takes and how much it costs to do that, right? So it's just really wild. And in this you know, situation right here, to make it hop like that, I mean. Well, that's what I was going to say. That's, just, it looks simple <laughs> to looking at it, but that's pretty hard to make a car do that, yeah. you know? That's what I was going to bring in a different respect to it of just, having a vehicle hold up to this you know uh, uh, some of the new ones they do the the hop competitions to see how high yeah. they can get the front get mm-hmm. uh get the front of the car off the ground and they're hitting like eight ten feet off the ground with the front of these cars yeah. you know and to get that you see some with the tires flopped out that they don't hold up but yeah. a lot of these cars are holding up to that that's some <laughs> serious abuse you know you're, you're talking hundred thousand dollar trophy <laughs> trucks to catch that kind of air and, <laughs> and land it and hold up you know and these guys are building cars in their yards to uh, to hop that and, and survive that that constant uh, pounding, so it's it's pretty cool. It's, there's definitely a lot of respect to them. Yeah. yeah so I think it's clear. Crazy. What's that? I said it's definitely crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's clear that it's not our style, you know. But again, just respect for what goes into these things to make it hop like that. You know, obviously hydraulics is what they're using. Yeah. So, yeah. so those are hydraulic cylinders. They have, you know, coils attached to them. That's how they get the bouncing out of it at the same time and tons of batteries so that they can put a bunch of juice to those uh, uh, those hydraulic pumps, you know, to send that thing hard, yeah. <laughs> you know. know There's a are, lot are they, of stuff. Are they all still using hydraulic or are some of these, these guys using are, air? Nah, these guys are still the, hydraulic the at this point, you know. 
But yeah, as far air, as air is making its way in, but I think it's still hard to get air mm -hmm. to the cylinder that quick. Yeah. You know, but yeah, as far as I know, it's all hydraulic and a number four at the drive through. <laughs> that's, that's cool, man. Number four cool. the drive through creates the hydraulic. Yeah. <laughs> well, man, I don't know. Um, who wants to go first on this one? How about Gabe? Gabe, you go first on this one. We're going to put you on the spot. Um, How do you rate this bad boy? I'm going to say cruiser. Yeah? All right. All right. Cruiser. You could, you could rock it. It doesn't over, go over the top for you, but. Uh, I, I'm with him. I'm I'm a cruiser on this guy. I I uh, if it were a traditional low rider, I I love him. I, I would be all in as as on the limiter with the mm, hops and the, yeah. and the traditional lace paint and that kind of stuff. I I really dig that stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm cruising this one. All right, all right, dude. Yeah, I'm right. I'm right there with him. Let's you know hit the cruise control of 55. And, you know, it's a cruise. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. I'm not I, sure. It's cool. Yeah, you know. It's you know the coolest thing is when they're doing this while they're driving. <laughs> That's <laughs> really <Yeah>. wild. <laughs> you got the three wheel motion yeah. going. You got you know when you know, hopping it off the ground all together. You know it definitely yeah. uh makes a spectacle. You know pretty pretty fun spectacle, right? Well, all right, man. Just uh for the sake of going with the flow, I'm gonna be a cruiser <laughs> on this one too. Yeah. Because yeah. it's worth more than a than a cranker for sure. No, yeah, there's I, definitely. Yeah, cool. yeah, I can't can't quite hit the limiter with it, you know. But yeah, it's pretty yeah. rad. I bet he's got a well. Maybe this one doesn't. A lot of them have a nice bump and sound system in them too. So that that they've yeah. got that going for them. These guys usually are pretty empty because they're going for yeah, this. Yeah, these, these know, guys, so. the dancing ones. Yeah. But they are doing it to music, so I, it is pretty I, I, cool. Is We're missing true. that component of this video right here. Yeah. It definitely mm -hmm. is more fun to see it live. Yeah. It's cool. Look at all the fluid on the ground. <laughs> that's, oh, yeah. that's potentially from this one and some well, of the like prior. That. You just keep driving. <laughs> We're going to pretend we didn't see those fluids and just keep going. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> all right. Well, man, that, that brings us to the end. That was quick. It does, huh? it does feel quick. It went by but, real fast. Uh, it wasn't fast. That's it's it's been our typical almost thirty minutes. Dang, maybe the Ooh. magic sauce is Duke and Gabe. What? We need to get rid of the gym. <laughs> <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> <laughs> all right, nah. all right. Jim can stay. Jim, Jim staying. Jim staying. Yeah. Well, hey but guys. Duke, but Duke's welcome to join us whenever he wants. So. Yeah, that's for hey, sure. I, man. You know, I I I love being here with you guys. You guys are awesome, and. Uh, you're cool people and you guys out there thanks for following these guys these guys are so awesome they're cool people they're family guys just keep supporting their content you know they're they're wholesome people and it's always good in life to know people that that are good genuine folks you know um but the thank, you guys. So thank you, you man. thank you guys That's for right. having enjoyed me, being man. around it means a lot so I feel the bromance in here, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, man. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, it's been fun and uh, definitely cool to to meet guys like Duke. And uh, we're actually gonna go on a cruise, so this thing won't won't air in time for uh, the grand opening of the Detail Lounge in Tucson. But uh, but do know about those guys. Uh, so check those guys out. But we're gonna go on a on a grand opening cruise yeah, here in yeah. a couple of days, and we're gonna go together. So that's gonna be fun. Yeah. Yeah, and hopefully we'll be. I think they got some uh, photographers there that want to shoot some videos of our cars going down the road. So oh, that'll be cool. That might be, be cool. Maybe some cool stuff coming up. So. Oh yeah, for sure. For yeah. Sure. So so he's a uh, blue color twelve valve That's on Instagram. Right. Yeah. So check him out there, and uh, make sure you guys check out the rest of our content with the forty nine build that we did with the sixty two Mercury that we're working on. We got some future projects coming up as well. And uh, give us a subscribe. Yeah, hit right that there. subscribe. That one. And make sure you guys, and you guys can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and sometimes TikTok. <laughs> Some meaning that we'll post there sometimes. That's what that means. <laughs> you can follow us there anytime you want to, but we're only posting there sometimes. So, all right, guys. Well, God bless you, and we'll see you in another one. Yeah, thanks for watching. Beep. <laughs> all right.